You mortgage your future to acquire one of the all-time great players because you're going to make a title run. And just to recap the way the season has gone in Milwaukee, they fired their inexperienced first-time head coach. They had an interim coach briefly. They brought in Doc Rivers. They have had a sub-500 record during that time. They are now in the number three seed facing the Indiana Pacers. They don't have Giannis at least to start the series per Adrian Wojnarowski. And if they lose in the first round again, there are rumblings that they will move on from Damian Lillard based on what Stephen A. Smith said. Could this have gone much worse if this continues down this path for the Milwaukee Bucks? Jason, here's the weird part about all of this. I think so many of the decisions they made, every one of the Wilde and Tausch fans listening right now would have made the exact same decision. Mm -hmm. At the time that they moved on from Mike Budenholzer, I believe that most of the Wilde and Tausch fans would say, yep, makes sense. I don't believe they would have said hire Adrian Griffin. Okay, I believe that every single one of them, when presented the opportunity to trade for Dame Lillard, despite the love and admiration, rightfully so, for Drew Holiday, every single one of them would have done that. And if I told you you could have Doc Rivers coaching this team and not Adrian Griffin, every single one of them would have made that move. Mm -hmm. So the Milwaukee Bucks made a lot of moves that most of us would make. It has not worked out the way in which you had hoped it would work out. I think there is going to be real conversation, fair or not, over the next 24 hours. Asking the simple question, has Giannis played his last game in a Bucks uniform? Oh, I think the answer is no for two reasons. One, I do believe he'll find his way back in this series. And two, because I don't believe he's going to ask out after the season. I have said all year long, and Tausch can back me up on this, I've said all year long, if this doesn't work, I could see this being a healthy breakup between Dame and the Bucks after the season. Literally a face-to-face meeting between management and Dame saying, we tried. Mm-hmm. We all tried no hard feelings let's just see what else is out there because maybe it makes sense for all parties involved do i think they're going to win a championship this year no when i write them off just yet ready to do that despite every sign pointing in that direction of writing them off so do you think that if that is how it shakes out that dame what, you, what can the bucks get a good haul back if that is the case for dame well, I'm glad you asked. I was on the trade machine, of course, last night, um, looking at this, and I started thinking about. I started thinking about if you're going to get, if you're going to move off of Dame and you're going to trade him, what are you going to try to get in return? And the answer to what you're going to try to get in return is Drew Holiday. That's not going to happen, obviously. So where is where is a Drew Holiday clone ish? Well, Memphis, Marcus Smart problem with that is Memphis is not going to want Dame Millard when they have John Morant. Who would want Dame Millard? Same team that wanted him last summer. Miami. Would Miami and Milwaukee make a trade straight up? I don't believe so at this point. I think they're too competitive with one another, and I'm not sure Miami has what Milwaukee needs, but Memphis may. Another team out there may. A team like you know, Oklahoma City, if they make moves after the season, a guy like Lou Dort, I don't want to get too inside basketball here, but you need to basically look for defenders around Giannis, right? I think that's kind of what we're looking at. I would not get rid of Chris Middleton. They may consider that if he's healthy. I still think he's a perfect co-star to Giannis. I, I think that the Dame thing was a great try. At this point, it doesn't look like it's going to work out. And I think after the season, they're going to have to strongly consider making a move with Dave. Now, I also think that many teams, even at this age and this price, would have extreme interest in Brooke Lopez, right? I mean, I, I, would, I would take him on my team if there was something left there. But this is not where we anticipated this would go with this team this year. And I'll, I'll give you one other thing. This is now the second straight year Giannis Antetokounmpo will miss games in the playoffs. Hmm because of injury i'm not suggesting he's injury prone he plays so hard we know that but if we're going to do this to other players about missing games in the playoffs and maybe there have been other years he missed games in the playoffs i don't know i know it's freakish i guess pun intended i know it's bad luck to get hurt 
but again, he missed games against Miami last year, and now he's going to miss games against Indiana this year. And he missed games during their run to the title. Yeah, I mean, at some point you got to say, like, Giannis gets banged up this time of year. I know everyone does, but he misses games this time of year. So, Evan, before we let you go, uh, Wendy on Get Up this morning said, it's not about Dame. Like what you said could easily happen, and I don't think Bucks fans will be devastated. But he said it's about Giannis, and I think for all of us, that's well. Giannis has a four; he signed a long-term extension. Blah blah blah. That's irrelevant. Yeah, it's irrelevant. what I'm saying. That my question was: if Giannis does in fact say, you know what, man, it just ain't working, the Bucks have no choice, right? So here's the question on that, and I understand. I mean, listen, Wendy knows this better than anybody. He is unbelievable. Like, if I'm the Bucks and Giannis comes to me and says it just didn't work, what am I going to – if I'm going to be truthful with him in return, my response is, yeah, I know, you shouldn't have made all the moves you made. That probably doesn't go over like, well, though. I'm, I'm, no, but, Taos, you're not actually going to say that, right? But who got – who wanted Budenholzer out? Giannis. Who wanted Dame in? Giannis. Who wanted Griffin Giannis. in? Giannis. Who wanted Griffin Giannis. out? Giannis. Who wanted Doc Giannis. in? What are we talking Giannis. about exactly? Oh. Giannis. I mean, that, so, Who wanted Thanasis? Giannis. Well, that's been a good thing. I mean, its analysis is wonderful. The content that's been yeah, created. That's been a fantastic show, no question. It has been, yeah. indeed. Uh, Evan, thanks for sticking around a little extra for us. Enjoy your coffee, mate. Thank you, guys. That is Evan Cohen. You can that hear was a him. a depressing deal there the, at the end. And uh, I, I don't think. I, Evan said the same thing. I uh, believe Giannis will be back. Pa pa pa. But two first round. It this series, I I don't think you can stress the importance of this series against the Indiana Pacers, because even if if you can find a way, and then even if the New York Knicks beat you, you can at least say, well, it just wasn't our year. At, you can at least kind of coalesce around that. You're still going to be uber disappointed. But if you lose in the first round again, that's when panic strikes. And you don't want to be operating out of a position of panic.